I thought this might be a fun video and a switch up. While it's still a haul, I'm actually going to be re re reviewing these products. So I've seen these perfume boxes. Well, they're not perfume boxes. I've seen these fragrances at Dollar Tree, but I just keep passing up on them, passing up on them. Anyone else? But something caught my eye. I'm not sure which one it was. I think it was this one right here. It was this blue ocean right here. And that's when I started noticing some of these labels claiming to compare um, and not even compare, let me rephrase that, because they're very careful in what they're saying on these products. They're using the term, our version of XYZ. Um, some other boxes do say compare. Some boxes say our version and some say compare to, and it tells you what uh, name brand, top dollar perfumes and fragrances that these align with. The only thing is, I don't know most of these perfumes by heart, so I can't exactly say, yes, this is a dupe. If you want a possible dupe, comment in the comment section or thumbs up. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I have separated all of these perfumes into two different piles because I'm noticing a connection, I guess. So the first pile, we have four to review, and they what they all have in common is that they all say EAD on it. Haven't quite, it's a European American designs. So that's what EAD means. So we're gonna review four of those, and those are the ones that say compare to so-and-so. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six of these styles and it's uh just fragrance i there's really nothing some of them have numbers some of them do not have numbers so i don't know but let's go ahead and get into this i have to say i'm very very excited for this and i didn't even get them all at dollar tree thumbs up tell me how you feel if you want me to do a round two of all the other stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this first one, which is really exciting. It says, it compare to number five by Chanel. And they're calling it seven after. <laughs> what? Okay. Um, oh God. I found that way fun funnier than it probably should have been. Okay, so here is the bottle. I will say that they had a bunch of testers out at Dollar Tree, so I know that all of these bottles basically look the same or they're shaped the same. So here is what it looks like. I have no idea. I don't wear Chanel number five, um, so I don't know if this is even the color of Chanel number five. And if you by any chance know the comparison or you have Chanel number five and you pick this up, comment, let us know what you think, if you think this is a dupe, I don't think I want to spray on my skin because I'm going to get too... It smells really nice. It's It smells really surprising that this is a dollar. It has just a very... Oh gosh, how would I describe this? Very soft and gentle. It just doesn't have like a spiciness to it, you know? It's just really nice on the nose. Um... Again, I can't say. I, I don't wear Chanel number no. 5, so I don't know if this is an exact dupe, but if it is, it's at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. All right, here is the next one. Again, we're still on EAD. This is, Lola, this is compared to Lola by Marc Jacobs, and they're calling it Lady Love. Oh, brother. As you can see, same bottle design different color, that red is just very bizarre. I don't have Lola by Marc Jacobs on hand, but I know I've smelt it and I think this is probably pretty close. Don't wanna, I don't wanna say, but I know that I've smelt Lola. And even if it's not close, I have to say, first thing off the bat, is it smells like a perfume that you would try at the counter at Nordstrom's 
or just, you know, any department store with nice perfume. It, if you put this amongst those, no one would know this came from the Dollar Tree is what I'm trying to get at. So this one, even if it's not a dupe, this is a nice spray. I really like that one. Okay, moving on, here is this one. This has a really cute little design on the box. And they are claiming that you can compare this to Can Can by Paris Hilton. Does she still do perfume? She still do it? I don't even know. Just the box overall, I really, really like. Oh, look at this. It's an all red design. Very, very interesting. I've never smelled Can Can by Paris Hilton. I will say that this has almost like a cotton candy carnival-y smell. Just very sweet, very candy. It's a, it's a really cute scent. I think that this would be a cute little scent if you're a teenage girl and you have one, if you have a teenage daughter. <laughs> what am I saying? If you have a teenage daughter and she's wanting to get into perfumes, um, this might be a nice one to start off with. I don't know. So, not bad. I'm not sure. I'm actually still going to give these a go. Like one day I'll wear this to really give it a go and see if I want to keep them. But not bad. I'm definitely more interested. I'll probably, so far, I will wear Lola first tomorrow. Okay, so here is this one. Ralph says compare to Ralph Lauren Blue by Ralph Lauren, and they're calling it Blue Ocean. Oh, very nice. You've got the blue here. And let's see. God, there's too many scents. I need coffee beans. I've never smelt Ralph Lauren Blue, but I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to throw this in my purse. I have to do a return at Nordstrom's and I think I'm going to try to smell their, their, the Ralph Lauren version. But I, again, I, this isn't a dupe video. I'm just, I'm very surprised by these scents. I'm very surprised after all these years of shopping at Dollar Tree. This is the first time I'm kind of coming across these. So it has a really nice smell to it. If, this were to be a dupe, I may not be surprised because it has a nice smell to it. I feel like there are definitely things that can smell cheap and things that can smell luxury. And this is kind of on that borderline of luxury. Um, but if, if you know the comparison between Dollar Tree and Ralph Lauren Blue, let us know. Okay, so we just went through all four of these and by far my favorite is the Lola and I really do like the 7 After. Uh, and um, I, I want to go and smell out Chanel number no. 5 and see what I think. Okay, now let's get in to this other one here and we're going to look at a Dolce & Cabana dupe, a, Polo, a Ralph Lauren Polo Black dupe, Tommy Hilfiger, Jennifer Lopez, Chanel number no. 5, and Elizabeth Taylor. So really exciting. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love this whole concept. Okay, the first one I want to try is their version of Light Blue uh, by uh, Dolce & Gabbana. This one I used to wear for years upon years of my 20s. I stopped wearing it because the guy I started dating, his mother, wore it. So I thought that was kind of weird. Um, so I know exactly if this is going to be a dupe or not. I, first thing off the bat, I have to say that these bottles look a little bit more luxurious than the EADs. And let's see, number 24. So this one has a number. It's pretty close. It's not, it's not quite there, but it's pretty, it's, like you can definitely smell the hints of light blue by Dolce & Gabbana, definitely. It's not a direct, a direct dupe, but for a dollar, it's pretty dang good. This one is another favorite so far. So love that. 
Now let's get into Glow, or their version of Glow by Jennifer Lopez, and this one is number 33. I don't have any JLo perfume. As a matter of fact, pretty much don't have perfume at all. Um, so I need to go get some. Here's what it looks like. Also noticing the same trend that the bottles are all gonna look alike. So. Without being able to compare it to the actual glow by Jennifer Lopez, I have to say that I'm not sure how I feel about this scent. I, I really don't have a conclusive, definitive idea if I like it or not. You would think you either do or you don't, but I, I just simply can't tell. Automatically, I don't think I do. It's on that cheaper side. And you're, my first thought is, yeah, I, this is from a dollar from the Dollar Tree. So that's my first thought about this. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. Don't know about that one yet. Okay, let's do Tommy Girl by Tommy Hilfiger. This one I used to wear a very long time ago. It is number 23. I don't know if I'm going to be able to say if this is a dupe or not because I such a long time ago. But here is this. And can we appreciate this box for a second? How they still went after that red, white, and blue, which is the Tommy signature logo colors. That's a pretty good dupe, I think. It's been a while since I've smelled Tommy Girl but it brings back memories and scents can do that. That's one thing that I feel like we really don't ever forget our smells. Isn't that interesting? I don't know if you have that same experience, but there will be times that I will be on a walk and just the way, a certain way that the air smells reminds me of a certain place in time that I was, even as a child and I have a horrible memory. So scents are very strong and pull from memory. And I feel like this is pretty darn close to the actual Tommy girl. Um, but holy cow, I didn't even know that we would be doing dupe videos. This is not a dupe video, but you know what I'm saying. Listen. Okay, let's move on to Black Lace, which is their version of Chanel number no. five. So obviously there are two different versions claiming to be close to Chanel number no. five. So we're gonna spray both of these again and see if they compare to each other. But if they're, if they're not similar, then chances are neither one of them are pretty close to number five. So here is the box. I like this box a lot more. It has the pearl detail, whereas this one was more like this. I don't know, maybe this one is a lot closer to Chanel number no. five. Here is this bottle, very different from the other ones that we've been seeing. It's very, very nice. This one's definitely a lot stronger, I have to say, than this one. Um, but I, I just, I don't know. I don't know Chanel number no. five enough to say, but if you do end up wanting a dupe video, I'll definitely have to do Chanel number no. five to compare. I have to say, if I had to choose, ah, I have to say that if I have to choose one or the other without knowing Chanel number no. five, I think this one is nicer. It's not as strong, but I don't know. All right. Whoo. Here is this one, which claims to be their version of White Diamonds by Elizabeth Taylor. Now, that's a pretty old school perfume, if my memory serves me correctly. And it says it's a limited edition. Also, look at this. No cap. So open your boxes, unlike me. Um, Oh, 
and it's not even the perfume. So definitely learn from my mistakes. I didn't even open up the box. This one is EAD Lovely Lady, Lovely Lady, which I think don't we, didn't we look at? No, we looked at Lady Love. This is Lovely Lady, so I don't know which one this is supposed to compare to, but we do not have Elizabeth Taylor to even look at. Let's move on to the next one, which is their version of Polo Black by Ralph Lauren, and they're calling it Prisma, Prism Black, Prisma, Prism Black. Like that, they got the little polo thing going on, so they're really giving it some thought. And lucky for us, we got the right perfume. They did the black lid. I think I've smelled Polo Black before, but I don't think that I might remember this one. Oh. Whoa. It's sparking a memory. Like, I've smelled this before. This may be a good dupe. It, it really may be a good dupe. So if your guy has Polo Black, you may want to pick this up at Dollar Tree and compare the two. Just saying. Um, wow, I really, I really smell Ralph Lauren in that. I, I know what Ralph Lauren, e even though that he has a variety of perfumes and cologne, I definitely feel like there's a note about Ralph Lauren that you're just like, okay, that they all kind of make this connection. And this one just has that Ralph Lauren scent to it. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Comment, let me know, talk amongst yourselves. If you know if, if it's a dupe or not, if you've tried it. Um, I have to say that the Dolce Cabana is a pretty darn close. So close that for a dollar, I like it. I know I'm definitely gonna use it. The Lola is really exciting. It also smells luxury brand. Tommy Girl smells like that too. And I'm very interested in comparing the Chanel number no. five. Also, comment let me know if you want me to do more of these. Dollar Tree has a plethora. So many to choose from. I didn't even buy them all. So if you want another round, let me know. I definitely have to go back and exchange this one, the Elizabeth Taylor, but hopefully you enjoyed this video and I have a headache, so I'm gonna go now. Peace.